Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Jesse DePlantis here. I hope you're enjoying our YouTube videos. That's why you don't want to miss anything. So like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell so you will know when new content has been posted. That's like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. So right now, watch this and be blessed. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in to Faith the Facts. You know, we're having a wonderful time. They call it the holiday season. I call it the Christmas season. And you know why? There was two people that really did a good job, and that was Mary and Jesus. Praise God. Together, Lord, they birthed the Son of the living God. Now, you know what's wonderful, Mary, is that how could a virgin girl have a child? She kept the faith. You know that song, Mary, did you know? What did you know, Mary? She knew how to keep the faith. Look what Mary says in Luke chapter 1, verse 34 and 35. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing I know not a man? And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. Now, brother, that's a prophetic utterance. And the reason why Jesus was born, because Mary kept the faith. Mary just grabbed that faith and said, I'm going to receive it. And she says later on, let it be, even as thou hast said. Then watch this. After her faith activated, this is before she, the G, she birthed Jesus. Because faith was now activating it. This is Luke chapter 1, 46 through 55. Mary said, my soul doth magnify the Lord. And my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior, for he hath regarded the lowest state of his handmaid. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty hath done me great things, and holy is his name. Is it possible if you keep the faith, your generations of your family will call you blessed all those years? Think about that. You know, my mom got her whole family saved. My wife, Kathy, got her whole family saved. I thank my God that for generations, they're going to say, you know, Aunt Kathy got us all saved. And, you know, my mom, uh, you know, uh, grandma got us all saved. It's because of the Word of God. It's called keeping that faith. Now, when you think about that, 15 years old, never had relationship with a man, didn't know anything about that whatsoever at all. All of a sudden, an angel just shows up and goes, hello, Mary. And so, you know, my God, you have found favor. Woo! With God Almighty. I, I, that's probably the greatest prophetic utterance anyone could ever speak. Woo! Think about that. And yet that girl, because of her faith, because of her purity, because of her character, because of her love of God, she was chosen to be the mother of the Lord Jesus Christ. Ooh, Lord. And if you think we honor her now, and we should honor her, think about it when we get to heaven. I mean, even the, some of the last words of Jesus on the cross said, oh, John, take care of my mom. Isn't that amazing? Ooh, what a blessing of the Lord. I got to read that again. Luke chapter 1, 34 and 35. Then said Mary unto the angel, how shall this be, seeing I know not a man? And the angel answered and said unto her, the Holy Ghost shall come upon thee and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore, also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. Let me tell you something, when you keep the faith, you get God's attention. Ooh, Lord Jesus. And I'm telling you, I don't care what can happen in life. Your faith will sustain you and hold you because I, it's one of the, it probably is the most powerful thing you can do. It's the only way you please God. The Bible says it's impossible to please God unless you use faith. And he gave you a shield of faith. Now that's a protector. That's protecting your, your spirit, your soul, your body in every area. I'm telling you, this is some good stuff. You know, that's why we say faith is fact. That's a fact, ladies and gentlemen. Now faith is a substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. I could do five years on just the word faith, on faith the facts, and never even touch it, barely scratch it because of the power of what it does. And it's amazing to me. And Mary, if you can hear this up there, thank you for keeping the faith so that Jesus would be born. 
Ooh, isn't that a blessing? Faith that fact and all the facts of your life will become what you want it to be instead of what Satan tries to make it be. You hear what I'm saying? That's God's word today. And I like that last word you said, let it be, even as thou hast said. So if you need a healing, let it be that by your stripes I'm healed. You want your family to say, let it be. I got the promise of my family down to a thousand generations. You see, I can go on and on and on and on. That's faith working. Faith that fact. My God, people are talking about you for generations. See you next week. Bye-bye. This media is copyrighted by Jesse Duplantis Ministries for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this media or of any pictures or accounts without Jesse Duplantis Ministries' consent is strictly prohibited.